Hello, my name is Jerry. I had my Dodge Ram repaired at, at Austin Health Specialist. It's a 2019. I brought it in for, for excessive hell damage on the front and back, and they did a great job repairing it. Thank you, Mr. Morris. Uh, what insurance company do you have? I use State Farm. Gotcha. How long have you been a State Farm customer? I'm gonna guess at least over 10 years. 10 years, wow. At least, maybe longer. Were you satisfied with your communication from Hale Specialists? I was, and the communication you did on behalf of me to State Farm. Were you satisfied with the repairs Hale Specialists performed? I am very satisfied. Were you satisfied with the communication you received from your insurance provider? I was not. I actually had to call State Farm to get them to do anything. Uh, Hale Specialists called for me over and over again, but I had to go in behind them and call and they would, it seems that they wouldn't do anything until I actually called them and urged them to move forward. How did it feel being the customer of this situation and, and the body shop, um, which is supposed to be repairing your vehicle, not being able to get in touch with the people who are supposed to be paying for it? I don't think it's very professional at all. And I feel like this process could have taken like, you know, two weeks, but it ended up taking a month and a half because we're actually waiting on State Farm to approve any kind of claims that they have sent up. Do you believe your insurance is acting in accordance with the contractor policy they sold you and are correctly indemnifying you as their customer? No, I do not. Were there any troubles, delays, or issues when contacting your insurance adjuster? Um, they actually never even contacted me. So when I contacted State Farm, and I asked for the claims adjuster management when it took so long to get my truck to get anything done. They actually just went in and approved it and didn't even, nobody even contacted me. I would randomly get an email or a text whenever they did certain things. And to be honest with you, when I did talk to people on the phone, there, was some, there were a couple helpful, very nice people, and there were a couple very rude people. Do you feel that your insurance provider treated you how they advertise, or do you feel that their advertisements are a misrepresentation of the service they provide? I believe it's a misrepresentation. I think that um, this could have got done a lot faster. And you know, for somebody who's been a loyal customer for so long, and, it, and have had my rates go up for the last two years for no reason besides, I guess, inflation, um, I don't feel that it's very fair. You didn't get that like a good neighbor, State Farm is there treatment? I don't think I did, no. Did your insurance provider give you a written letter of denial explaining what they did not want to pay for? And furthermore, did you know that the Texas Department of Insurance requires all insurance companies to do this when denying a claim? I did not. You didn't get a letter I and you didn't know that? I didn't know that and I did not get a letter. I got, uh, I only got no certain claims or certain part of Wow. Do you believe the rates your insurance company is wanting to pay are reasonable, taking into consideration the safety of the driver and the occupants of the vehicle? I don't believe that it is. I mean, it would be okay to pay that much if I had the kind of service with that much money a month or a year, you know, supposed to be provided. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like for this, the month payment should have been half of what I'm out, but no, I do not. You don't have to say how much you're paying, but you told me that they increased your rate several times within a very short period of time, right? Well, yeah, less than two years, they probably increased, I would say, it almost doubled. Doubled. It almost doubled, it almost doubled. Wow. I did add a car in, and it increased only $20 a month, that's understandable. But for the most part, I would say, yeah, I'm paying quite a bit now. Wow. Why do you think your insurance provider is refusing to pay for what's properly owed? I couldn't tell you. Maybe they're being cheap. I don't know. Cost effective, right? <laughs> Did your insurance provider ever speak about hail specialists in a negative way throughout the repair process? They did. And that's all. But like I said, that I only got to talk to somebody when I actually called them. Mm -hmm. So they were pretty, pretty spot on getting get on that. But they never, they never said anything negative about health specialists. 
Do you remember how much your insurance company shorted hail specialists? And do you think this will negatively impact a local repair facility like hail specialist? Yes, it was $1,700. And I believe it will. That's a, that's a lot of money for a small business. Mm -hmm. Do you believe it is right for a multi-billion dollar company to try to short a local repair facility trying to help the community? I do not. Cut and dry, I like it. Do you believe it's right that the insurance company treat any repair facility or customer in this way? No, I do not. Would you recommend anyone to hail specialists? Yes. And would you recommend anyone to your insurance provider? Three years ago, yes. Now, probably not so much. Gotcha. Thank you very much, Mr. Morris.